time again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. What's in the box, Tennessee? I have here exactly what we need to become rich and famous. Uniforms for our new business. Uh, gee, Tennessee, what kind of uniforms are these? I'll give you a hint, Chumley. You and I have had our greatest success capturing crooks, right? So what do you think we're going to be? Uh, crooks. Don't be ridiculous, Chumley. We're going to be detectives. We'll sneak out of the zoo, buy ourselves a newspaper, and apply for the first detective job we see. You still advertising for hotel detective, Mr. Hothead? Of course. If we don't get a detective soon, we'll lose all our guests. We can't go on having our rooms robbed. Yeah, but who'd answer your ad after what happened to the other detectives you hired? Bus. Someone might hear you. But it's all over town, Mr. Hothead. Everybody knows. Who'd be nutty enough to apply here for a hotel detective job? We've come to answer your ad. I'm Tennessee Tuxedo, and this is my partner, Chumley. We're first-class detectives. Gee, a penguin and a walrus yet. You wouldn't hire them, would you, Mr. Hothead? You're hired. And your first job is to watch this man. Hmm. He looks harmless to me. Well, he's not. His name is Slippery Hood, and he's a known crook. From the first day he took a room here, we've been having robberies. But we never catch him in the act. I get it. You want us to follow him and catch him stealing something. Yes, and you can start right now. He should be up in his room. That's his room over there, Chumley. Uh, I guess he's inside, huh, Timothy? Good detectives don't guess about anything. They check and double check, like this. Ow! Yes, he's in there all right. We'll keep our eyes glued to that door. <laughs> so now they got a penguin and a walrus to watch me. Boy, are those two in for a surprise. Watch that door every second, Chumley. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. Well, what are you boys doing? Shh. There's a dangerous crook in there, little old lady. We're making sure he doesn't get out without our knowing it. My, what dangerous work. <laughs> now I think I'll go to work on the 15th floor. Do -do -do. So, here you are, lying down on the job. And Slippery Hood just robbed every room on the 15th floor. Quick, Chumley, after him! No, 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 he's back in his room by now. And this time he'd better not get by you. Chumley? There's only one way Slippery Hood could have escaped. He must have sneaked out the window. So here's what we'll do. You go upstairs to the room over this one, drill a hole in the floor, and watch Slippery Hood. If he starts out, phone me and tell me whether he's using the window or the door. Okay? Uh, okay, Tennessee. Uh, gee, I can't see a thing through that little hole. That's better. I bet Tennessee will be proud of me the way I use my head. Duh, okay, Tennessee. Hurry up to this room right away. Duh. Coming, Chumley. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. <laughs> <laughs> now I think I'll go to work on the 16th floor. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, no. I hire detectives and I get sleeping beauties. 
what happened. Slippery Hood just robbed every room on the 16th floor. Now I'm warning you two. If he leaves that room again, you'd better be following him. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sure, sure, Mr. Hothead. This time he won't get away. Chumley, I'll sit by this phone while you take that other phone out the window. Crawl over to Slippery Hood's window and watch him. Yeah, but can you see, that window is 19 stories high. There's a nice little ledge to walk on. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Help, no! Oh, stop, no, yes! Yeah. Oh, Mr. Hood! Uh, hurry down to the sidewalk, Tennessee. Uh, Mr. Hood is escaping down there. a safer way to watch that crook. We're going to see Mr. Whoopi. Come on, Chumley. We'd better get back to the zoo before Stanley misses us. Uh, gee, Tennessee, how about another riddle? All right, Chumley, go ahead. What letter is never found in the alphabet? Well, I know. The letter I put in the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> When we tried to wash him through the window, we got all banged up. Well, now, that sounds like a very painful duty you're performing, get it? Oh, yes. Well, what you need is something that brings Slippery Hood's room closer to you so you can watch without being there. But what could do that, Mr. Whoopi? Why, a telescope, of course. A telescope? Yes, indeed. You can sit in the room across the street and keep an eye on Mr. Hood all the time. But the room across the street is a long way away. How does the telescope work? Well, a telescope has two lenses. The one at the far end is called the object lens. Actually, the telescope substitutes this object lens for your eye. And since it's larger than your eye, it can see more. Sure, I can see that. Yes, <laughs> of course. The object lens collects the light rays coming from the object you're watching. It bends the light rays toward the other, smaller lens. And that's the one you put your eye on, huh? Yes, Tennessee. That's called the eyepiece lens. It spreads out the light so that you can see an enlarged image of the object you're watching. Uh, but gee, Mr. Whoopi, how do you hold the two lenses? Oh, 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 you don't, my boy. The lenses are held in two or more sliding tubes like this. The tubes are movable so that you can make the telescope longer or shorter in order to properly focus it. Just look through this at Chumley. He's all fuzzy looking. Oh, that's right. Now slide the tube slowly. Zowie, it clears right up. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. We're going out and buy the biggest telescope we can find. Are you all set, Chumbly? Uh, yeah, Tennessee. I can see Mr. Hood just fine through this big telescope. All right, Chumley. Keep watching and call me the minute he starts to leave. Uh, okay, Tennessee. Gee, Mr. Hood is putting on different clothes. He's dressing up like a, like a, uh, a little old lady. What is it, Chumley? Uh, Mr. Hood is dressed like a little old lady and he's leaving by the door. I see. Dressed like a little old lady and he's, he's, I see him, Chumley. Get over here and help me. Stop, you crook. You're no little old lady. Stop. <laughs> We are proud to have you staying at our hotel. I'm charmed to be here, Mr. Hothead. Now, I'm a little tired and... What was that? Now I've got you. <laughs> Take off that wig, you crook. Stop! That's the Duchess, you numbskull. Stop it! Uh, I got him, Tennessee. Slippery Hood ran right into me. You, you, you come poop you're going back to the zoo where you belong uh, well we didn't get rich being detectives but now we got a new business hurry 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 just 10 cents a look see the planet see the moon
alone, just ten cents a look through this giant telescope. Don't miss seeing... Uh, like he always says, Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. <laughs> Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun. Tune in at 3 o'clock to the Fun Zone to see me, Lauren Day. Oh, that it. Now get ready for the stupendous sleuth, Inspector Gadget, next year on 39 WDZL. 